你讲故事啊。吃饱吗？吃过了，陈叔。这个呢，不是普通的硬币，它可以保护你的。谢谢阿爸。伊勒，让阿库布里达巴姆南图尼。马纳阿迪查理伊斯里迪西尼。纳帕蒂达。Well, actually, I, I, if you ask people who know me, I'm actually not very nationalistic. You know, I think, but I think one of the things that my my takeaway for the film,、uh, making this film, is that it made me want to find out more about. Uh, where I came from, where we all came from, and I think that's uh, the, the, this journey of discovery that I probably not really care so much about.、And、I think if an audience were to watch it and someone younger watched it, they realize that how the parents are living, you know, or how the grandparents are living, and the grandparents realize that oh, it's a it's a it's a moment to relive. I think that's one of the main tasks of the film. Uh, no, no, no. I think that joke aside, I think the the I know very little of、uh, what actually happened. I'm not a I'm not a big history buff, you know. I I prefer geography,、um, but、um, I think it. But it made me want to find out. I think reading the script, the very first time two and a half years ago, made me want to find out more. I I I'm uncertain about how people live during that time,、uh, what. What was this tension about? This racial tension about? Because it's not something that, that you know, we, after 50 years of war, the way we 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 live as Singaporeans now, there's a kind of peace and prosperity, and it never really occurred to me that, oh, we had a time that was very very different, and I think that was、uh, That is something that attracted me, and it's not the war. You know, if it's World War Two, you know, people band together and then we fight the war, and it's, that's that's something that is the the Chinese word is "gongming," that everybody can can band together. But it's it's something that happened that people do not know. You know, it's it's a it's a period of undeclared war. People don't know. I mean, I I can I trust my neighbors?、Um, will I say something that's gonna harm somebody? We don't know. You know, and and. Words are very powerful, you know. I mean, today, there's something that I, I wanted when I was working with the writer Andrew、uh, about is that you know today we have social media, and you write something, you can be salacious. You write something out there, and then it spreads, you know. And, and during the '60s, if if something salacious or something bad is happening, and then you 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 spread it, it's spreading in the kampongs, you know, and, and the word travels. So, so I was always making fun. Like now we have Facebook media, we have online media. Last time we have Kampong media, and that was something that I wanted to have in the film. I've always seen that that scene where Alkawai breaks down. As do you remember it as a moment? It's、uh, a moment my adult life, and then you know we're separated from Malaysia, and then and then after that he says, "Can I take a moment?" And he breaks down, and you can find all this online. And when, whenever you watch it online, it goes to black because that's what actually happened. And and the script actually had that that part that is after, and I think that that was something that I I we really want to find out. You know, we spent hours at the the the, the press conference of that day was actually、uh, one half hours or one hour forty minutes long, and、um, when was get on went down, I saw when I think we when we watched it and we saw that what happened after it was very inspiring. Because we were we the, when we wrote it or when Chiangming wrote it,、um, it was based on on his on on on. On what was written in, in captured in the script, but、I、haven't actually seen the video.、And、you can't really see online. So actually, one of the main, one of the first things we came back because、uh, that that line that he says there, you know, we're we're gonna set an example. We're gonna be a multiracial country. It became something that we start to put it out there very early on because I think that was something that if you want to, if you are searching online, you you saw that first moment, then you have that next moment which is here, and I think that. That moment became a promise, you know, the promise that that、uh, that the leader made for for us to embrace upon. I think that was something very interesting during the research. One of the things that I had in mind is, what if the bomb is internal? What if it's your own personal ticking time bomb? I think that is something、um, that is scarier, because and it's a psychological thing. You know, at any time you can snap. At any time, you do not realize it, but you are racist.、Um, I think that is something that we want to tackle. It's not an easy subject to tackle. I think we, the, the script and the film, tried, you know, in in a way to 
to represent um, from our own interpretation how it would be like. Um, it's, it's not something easy to grasp and something to represent so that it can be for the mass audience. That's not something that is easily done. I think that was one of the... It, oh, so that was the biggest challenge. I mean, a lot of people ask me what was the biggest challenge. I think that, that probably was it, you know, how to represent it with some... with dignity, you know, with perspective. There's a, there's a moment in our lives where we come of age and um, one of my favourite characters in the film is Cesare's character, Adi. And um, it's just very simple, it's not emotional to the point of breakdown, but it's a scene between Adi and his mother, played by Diana Yusuf. Uh, it was a very tender scene where a son is telling the mother, I'm ready to take charge. You know, I, I, we shot that, everybody on set was a bit teary-eyed because it's, it's not the kind of moment where um, oh, everything's sad and bleak and, and, and distrust and there's so much distrust and hate and all that but it became a moment which was tender because I think a lot of young men and young women you know we reach a point in our time in our lives that we can tell our parents that hey we are okay you know it's my turn I think that that is one moment that I, I, I really enjoy making and, and that was a moment that I can treasure that, um, that I hope the audiences can also relate to. I, I think that this film is very sincere and I think the sincerity um, is definitely prevalent. If the sincerity is not prevalent, then I'm a little bit sad. Uh, I think that we, we are all approaching this a little bit different from my previous projects. Not only the previous film, but all my other projects, where it's very technical, you know, you go in there, have an idea. This is something that we want to live and breathe. And I think um, everybody who has worked on the film live and breathe the project. And I think it's infectious. And I think that's where some kind of magic can happen. You know, where everybody is just living and breathing it, from the editor to, to the sound designer to to, to the PAs and, um, and even the guys who are doing the marketing is, is fantastic. You know, it's everybody's just, let's do it. I think that's, that's something I'll treasure. If, if someone goes to the cinema and watch 1965 and they get to relive that period, I think that would be the biggest takeaway. To have a sense of what it's like during the time, to know how your parents and grandparents lived and for the grandparents to relive that moment in time. I think that would be one of the biggest things that can happen.